Hey, how you doing? This is Sonny Aigbe for Boy on His Dream. Um, today we are at Emerson High School on um, Damon and Foster. Emerson High School um, is where we're actually at today speaking. So the topic is on how to be the best you want to be. So the students will be highly motivated today. They will be inspired to do great things. Now these students are 10th and 11th graded. They're all getting prepared for college. So they're going to be super motivated and super pumped. Inspiration is going to be in the air today. All right, y'all watch out for the YouTube channel. You take it easy. Thanks for your support. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good See, have an accent, you know, different. You have to be different, and you have to accept your differences, all right? Born in Nigeria, now I live in the United States, I'm a United States citizen. I choose to add value to the youth because I never had a chance to be a youth. You hear the story. I'm going to be using my story to inspire you today. I hit mine because I can actually project my own natural voice. That's the best, so that you can be heard. How many of you want to be heard? Who wants to be heard? Come on. Who wants to be a champion? Come on. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Don't be shy to be the best you want to be. All right? Keep clapping. Let me tell you something. Life is funny. Life is funny. If you're born to shine, if you cannot shine, there's no way you can shine. How can you shine? You got to be bold to make a move. You got to be bold to be yourself. Be bold to ask for help. Bold to be what you want to be. And some. Are you bold enough? If you're bold enough, take it. Because the opportunity is for everyone. The bold ones, those who are bold enough, are the ones who will benefit from it. Like I said, I have to cross the ocean to be here today. I could have been in Africa, but I chose to be global. You can do the same thing. Again, my name is Sunny Aigre. I was born March 15, 1973. Guess how old I am? 45 years old. I am an inspirator. I inspire the youth to do better. Alright? I'm the founder of a boy on his dream. I'm an author. I write books. Some of my copy of the book are here today. I brought two copies. I'm going to donate that to your, uh, to your library when you have a chance. Read it. You have to know about me. I'm a bodybuilder, a professional bodybuilder. I travel globally with people. I'll be at the Arnold Classic March 1st. Competing, winning, right? The game is winning. If you learn to win, you learn to be happy. If you're winning, you keep happy. If you can't win, there's a problem. But we're going to be teaching you how to be a winner. Because winners shine. The topic of today is how to be your best. What does that mean? Man. What does that mean? Yeah. Okay. Why is it so important to be who you want to be? Good. Are you motivated? Highly motivated? Good. I like that. That's very important. My organization is actually giving back to you, helping them to know that adversity is not supposed to tie them down. Just because you fall today, just because you're not catching up in your SAT, just because you are not able to express yourself, doesn't mean that you're a failure. It means that there's some things that you need to do to better yourself, right? We all can learn to be better. But when you fail to learn, that's when there's a problem. Who wants to be better today? Who? Absolutely, everyone. You have no idea what it takes to be out there in society. Just because you're 17 years old, 16, 17, you still live with mom and dad at home, everything seems to be easy right now. By the time you become on your own, you're in college, the challenge is real. The hustle is real. If you're not positioned, if you're not ready, excuse me, you will struggle. Then that boils down to the attitude that you have, the drive that you have, your individual personal self. All right? We've been all over the place, born in his dream. Packing meals, sending meals on the privileged children in Africa, doing school visits, motivating children to be the best they want to be, telling them, teaching them how to respect themselves, putting pants up, doing the best they can be, respect the family at home, be a law abiding citizen. That's what we all need, right? Right? Hello? Yeah. Come on, great. My makeup is. Okay. I'm going to tell you more about me myself, a little bit more about me. 
was born into adversity in somewhere in Africa, Nigeria, in a remote village. My mom had me, I had no father, and then I had no dad. I don't know what it takes to have a hug from a father. But that never stopped me from being the place I want to be. It took a longer time for me to find myself, for me to be positioned, for me to find people who believe in me that will listen to my story so I can inspire others. So I went to a terrible adversity. I was a child that walks barefooted for years. I was that child that was running those but belly, I almost died of malnutrition. Rejection was my best friend. I was that child who was chasing male figure for a hug, for appreciation, for acceptance. Those that took me in used me for a child labor. Those that couldn't take me in rejected me from a distance. You know why? Because my mama had me without getting married. So with that, I was disrespected mostly all entire life or to this moment when I decided to say, hey, I am a person, I'm a human being, I can do better. I can change my life, I can change how I feel. I can do better, you know? I can recreate the shadow that left me. So that's exactly what I did. You can make yourself so good to the extent that the whole world will want to identify by you. That's what I'm encouraging you to do. This is my 27th, 28th school speaking, because the colleges, boys and girls club, the prison system, Juvenile Detention Services, I used to be a correction officer. When I took the job, the goal was to actually go find out what's making our children go in, get locked up. But the state quickly hired me because I'm so driven. Oh, they thought there's someone that's going to do the job, right? Well, I was actually going in to figure it out what the problem is. During my term of serving, six years, I was interviewing different inmates finding out what the problem is. What brought you here? How did you get here? How come you could not control your emotion? So I came to find out that the problem they had all similar. No mom, no dad, no support system, same thing I had. I also came to realize that why they failed was the fact that they could not control their emotion. When you allow your emotions to control you, you're gonna have a problem. You always have to learn to be in charge of your emotion and make the correct decision 24-7. That will guide you to success. Trust me. Because if you mess up out there in the society, there's going to be a real huge problem and struggle. As we struggle, as we move on today, you continue to learn different skills on how to position yourself, how to identify your strength and harness that and make it work for you. Okay. You're about to start heading out to college, right? There are certain things that you need to do to get certain good stuff. What can you do to be good in college, to prepare for college? Man. Speak out. Read. The grades has to be great. Flying colors, study hard, find a group of friends who can study with you, put in your best, and you will get achieve your results. All right? What I'm saying is that make sure that you exploit every opportunity out there that will give you the information that you need to know about the college that you want to go. There's nothing wrong with finding out what you want to do. There's, so, there's nothing wrong with finding out your potentials, right? Right? Nothing wrong with that. Be smart. Be proactive. It's all be reactive. Be proactive. Stay proactive. See the problem ahead of time before, before it happens. What happens when you figure it out, the problem ahead of time? What happens? What will happen? Yeah. Oh, um. If you solve the problem ahead of time and figure the solution out before the problem happens, what will happen? Exactly. You're already a champion. So you can't fail at that moment. So that's what I did. So when I didn't have no father, I was sleeping in a caravan in Africa. When people rejected me, I was struggling. I couldn't have no food to eat for several days. I was thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. No love. <laughs> I used to get slapped over a piece of bread. Sonny, you're not supposed to eat that bread. Now I want to buy so many loaves of bread, I just send it out to you, right? So that everyone can have bread to eat. It's real, it's in the book. When you read it, you figure it out. So, this is where we're at right now. I will be challenging you, asking a lot of questions, and uh, just to test you where your mindset is, who you, you know, who you're hanging out with, 
how you process your thinking, what are you going to do with your energy? That energy that you have, that drive that you have, what are you going to do with it? I want to test you right now and see if you have the ability to listen properly. Everybody on your feet, get up. Let's move it. Come on. Come on. Take a seat. Why is, it so, why is it so difficult for you to listen and obey? Why? Exactly, that's what slows everyone down. Why do you want to be so independent? We all need each other. We do. We need each other. All your feet, let's go. Do it. Come on. <laughs> The way you react to things and challenging because you will be tested by people who are intended to help you. I'm living it. You will be tested. If your attitude stand in your way, you're missing that opportunity. Trust me. You can be tested in any way. It's your choice. If you test it, you miss it, I'm coming in, I'm taking it. I'm adding it to my own value. I'm using it. If you don't like it, oh well. I'm taking it. So learn to dominate. Learn to be the best you can be. Because it's going to work for you. But if you do have that, everything that you need, if you have it, don't keep it to yourself alone. Share with those who are worthy of it. Inspire. Get back. Be the best you can be. There's so, several things that you need to do to be the best you can be. All right? During this phase of your life right now, preparation is very important. Be ready so that when your opportunity hits, you don't need to be ready anymore. You're already ready. You set, you pumped, take over. Why not? Who wants to take over? Who? Who is pumped? Who's ready? You will figure it out. Today, you will always remember this day that, you know what, this man came to the class and got me pumped up. Got me wired up. Now I'm so pumped up. Now I don't have a problem asking people to help me out. I don't have a problem dressing like a businessman, approaching those business owners to help you. Now I don't have a problem going to the bank and saying, man, I need a loan. I want to open up my own company. Why not? I was delayed. I couldn't read and write at 18. It's not because of my choice. Because I was told that I was not good enough. I wasn't educational material. No one could pay my tuition. I was 12 years behind education. You are lucky that you have mom. I don't know what the story is, but I'm not really here for that. I'm here to let you know that your adversity is not supposed to stand in your way. The things that are hard are difficult for you today and were supposed to prepare you for tomorrow. If the challenge is not there, you will not be motivated to do better. So why are you saying, why me? Oh, I'm not going to school today. You're going to show up. <laughs> For real, you're going to show up. Whether you're sick, if you have a headache, take Tylenol, take a shower, dress up, you're going to show up. You will show up. You will show up. You will add value to yourself. You will get ready because you have a responsibility to become like me one day and to become like the teachers here one day. Who's going to teach those kids who are being born to earth? Me? I'm going to be old in the next decade or so. I can't keep doing this. I'm not going to pass the baton to you, but we want to make sure that you're ready to be able to educate and tell them the same story I'm telling you right now. <sighs> yeah. That's what it is. I couldn't read that idiot. Today I have a master's degree from Purdue. I'm going to be getting my PhD. I was at Harvard University. I went to speak at uh, uh, Bob State Juvenile Detention Services, giving them 50 copies of my book, told them my story, check out at Harvard University, because that's where I want to get my PhD. You know why? Because I was told I couldn't do it. Don't get me wrong, I still have my delay. <laughs> There are, some, there are some things I can't, I cannot spell correctly, but <coughs> I'm shocked. All those years that I was denied the opportunity to be myself, guess what I was doing? 
I was figuring it out. Yes. When I see a child being advised, being nurtured by dad and mom, I'm in the corner figuring it out. I'm trying to tap in there. I want some, but well, I can't get it naturally. Supposedly, but I just kind of observe. I said, oh, that's how I feel. So that when I become a dad, I can do better. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Things are not always going to work out your way. What are you going to do with that emotion when things don't work out your way? It's important. You want to be your best. You want to be the best you want to be. A foundation is very important. Lay a solid foundation. You don't want to do a mediocre job. You don't want to do, just do it just for the sake of it. What do you think? I got you thinking, right? If your foundation is not solid, build, it's going to fall. When you fall, you're 10 years behind, man. The struggle is going to be real, damn. Before you start playing to catch up, your mate ahead of you. Do you know what you're going to be doing with that emotion? Oh man, that's a disaster right there. I'm trying to open your mind right now so you can think, start thinking ahead. Start being smart. I know you're smart. Do some more. It's for your own self. Prepare yourself for the unpredicted things. I mean, you will be challenged. You will be challenged. All right? See there, what Trade Center was taken down 13 years later, it's standing. It took them 13 years to build. I'm using that as an analogy because it's a good, solid example. But guess what? In that 13 years, nine years out of the 13, guess what they were doing? Planning. Yes. Laying a lifelong, a lifelong solid foundation that is sustainable. That's going to last almost a entire lifetime. Well, while building the foundation, guess what they were getting? Good. You? Speak up. Come on. Come on. You good? Yeah. Experiment. How about you? What do you think they were doing? Doing that night? The challenge that they faced. How about you thinking? All right. I'm going to tell you. Critique. Neglect. Abandon the people that even believe in the project, that invested in it, they doubt them. They start doubting the, the engineer. Oh, it's not going to work. You're going to face that while you're trying to be the best you want to be. Sometimes people will check out on you. Maybe because you try, then you start failing. It's not because you intended to. It's just because you failed the class. I, I, I never had an A's on B's. I was F. E and D. My best was C, but I'm still the best I want to be. It's not because I'm, I'm not being proud. I'm being grateful for being alive, for being a human, for waking up every day. I was at DC. Never had an A and B. But I'm not saying you shouldn't have. You should strive for the best. But what I'm saying is that if you don't care what you need, take what you have and make it the best you can be. Not all of us can be the mayor of Chicago. One person got to be, but the help, the rest of us have to support the man to make it work. That's the way it is. If you have brothers and sisters, one is smarter or one look prettier because of your mindset. Okay, I appreciate that. I hug them every day. Express some love. Don't hate. Don't stand in your own way because sometimes we have the ability of standing in our own way. We block our flavor. We block our opportunity because of our behavior. I'm not here to serve math. I'm not here to serve physics. I'm here to inspire you to be the best you want to be. I'm not prepping you for any exam. I'm changing your mindset. I'm helping you to think differently. Above, above and beyond. To be the best you want to be. Motivation and inspiration is the best way to live life. If you don't have it, there's going to be a delay. Sometimes you wake up. Come on. Any question about that? Foundation. If you want to be great, I need you to start clapping right now. You have to 
learn to be self-motivated. Because sometimes you will feel that you've been left behind. You'll feel that you've been left behind. Yes, it's good to feel that way. But if you don't self-motivated, you're not going to jump in that shower and take a shower and hop on the bus and start going. If you don't fuck in that job, guess what's going to happen? Someone else is taking your place. Be self-motivated. Okay. The boys are to what can you do to be the best you want to be? You better start identifying <laughs> a positive circle of friends. You told me your friends, I will predict your future. <laughs> you think of life as a as a play, a child's play? No. No, sir. It's real. It's real. You told me your friend, you told me who you're hanging with. I'll figure out where you're gonna be 10 years from now. Truly. Alright? You have to qualify your circle of friends. You chose your friends. Your friends don't choose you. Check them out. Are they in school? Are they in church? Whatever. Are they peacemakers? Are they part by the citizen? What value have they added lately to the society? Mm. If they qualify, make them your friend. If they're not qualified, don't hurt your fellow. Tell them you're busy. You study. You're preparing for the future, right? Right. You don't need to impress no one. You need to impress yourself and be grateful for being alive. And be a good citizen. Don't break the law. You qualify your circle of friends. Chose who you're hanging with. There's no point staying up overnight, partying, drinking, trying to show up, trying to measure up. You don't need to. What I'm saying is that what you should be doing, the hours and the partying or whatever, trying to, you know, impress your friends, put that hour into use in the things that's going to add value to yourself in five years from now. That's how you become the start. In due time, you'll be somewhere one day speaking, writing books. Yes. Okay. Mm. If you want to be respected, position yourself the way you should be respected. The way you dress matters. If you're sagging, your choice. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is no good. Put it down. Put the pants up. Put the pants up and be respected by people. The way you position yourself, it's important. That becomes your identity. Truly. If you're a girl, be cordial. Come on. We want to be able to respect you. Dress properly. If you're a man, your pants up, you know, wear your slack, your jeans are fine, tennis shoe ball, wear it properly. Respect your ladies, man. Ladies respect your man. Hey. That's the way it is. You can identify it like that. You dress up like that, walk on the street, you're being talked about. Not in a good way, though. Exactly. Questions so far? Good. What is that the fact that don't ever, ever even consider it? No matter how you've been pressured to do so, don't do it. I was a correction officer, I will tell you, it's no joke to be out there telling you. When you make that mistake, it's so hard to correct. Destroying, it's easy. Fixing it takes time. It takes time. That's why people quit trying to do good, man. Because doing good is not easy, but if you do good, the reward is everlasting. Life, time, lasting. It lasts forever. You do good. You can't, you can't do that. You know, the only, the only gain that you get from being a gang member is either death or in prison. Who wants that? Who is totally against it? Who is against it? Thank you. If you know of any family member who is considering joining because they're looking for love, because let me tell you something. Not having love in your life can, can make you do some crazy stuff. We all need love and affection and acceptance and hugs and stuff like that. Most of us don't have it. Yes. Like myself, man. 
using myself. I could have failed. I could have chose to like pick up a gun, like ra 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 ra, robbing the bank because my emotion is getting over me. I didn't have no father. I, you know, I went through hell. Start doing crazy stuff because I want to. Because I'm looking for the attention. I could have done all that. Why not? I'm big enough, right? Tough enough, man. But I chose not to. I chose to be the best I want to be. Again, not the things that happen to you that make what you should be. It is you. It's you. You control your destiny. You. You write your own check. You decide where you want to be. It might be rough. The pathway to success is not narrow and full of joy, full of peanut butter and jelly or whatever. No, that stuff is rough, man. It involves showing up, continuous grinding, doing the best you can be, you know, staying up late, doing that assignment even when you're tired. Because sacrifices have to be made for great things, to give a pathway for great things to happen, to create a legacy that's going to be sustainable. Sacrifices have to be made. That's it. When I was going through that crazy lifestyle in Nigeria, suffering in pain, denial, rejection, all that emotion, man, sometimes I, mean, I cry overnight. I didn't know what to do with it. I'm asking, why me? Oh my God. Why don't I have a dad? Why can't I just be accepted for who I am? I didn't know that I was being prepared for something like this so I can be strong enough to be able to stand here today and let you know that life is all so sweet. Life is great that you can be the best you want to be if only you chose to be. That's why I'm here. Hi. That's why I'm here. If you don't have a father, keep yourself hard. Because at some point you become a father. Then you pass that stage. If you don't have a mother, keep yourself hard. At some point you're going to be one. You want to, you want to succeed at things that people fail at. You want to really succeed at things that people fail at. And you want to have the things that you've always like wanted to have by working hard and by positioning yourself to be the best you want to be. Who's going to college here? Come on, give it up! Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, look at that. Everyone to college? Are you going? You haven't decided? College is a meal ticket. Get there. Taking care of ASAP. It's only four years, get in there, get out, go there. That's a lifetime meal ticket. When it boils down to the fact that you can't get the factory, you can't get food there. Meal ticket out, I say, cut me a meal. Oh yeah, welcome to the company, I say, I got this meal ticket, I'm entitled to that. Of course, be humble. <laughs> be humble about it when you ask it. Be humble, be nice, smile. I think I qualify, no, no, I think you qualify. I'm very qualified to, you know, maintain this position. Please, would you consider me? Stuff like that, you will be considered if you're ready. You will be given the chance to be your best if you are ready. Okay, what did I do with my trauma? <clears throat> I took it to the gym. I'm gonna quickly see if I can play this for you. My anger, my frustration, I took it to the gym. Daily to today, I'm still controlling my emotion because it's there. Things happen to you, it doesn't go away. We have to manage your feelings. I took you to the gym so I would take you to the prison. Alright? So, what are you gonna? Sorry, I'm gonna cut it short. Okay. What are you going to do with your feelings? Because I know we are going through stuff. Are you going to blow up and ruin your, your opportunity and fight everyone and ruin your relationship and mess up your life with drugs and alcohol and all that crazy stuff? Are you? Are you? Come on. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just telling you that I was dead. I could have been. Miserable. I could have been out there. Today, I successfully created three businesses with the help of my people who strongly believe in me. The people that believe in me, they don't even my blood, brothers and sisters. I said I live in the United States of America. I was born in Africa. So, this is the story. You can create your own lifestyle. 
Now I'm providing fitness to towers in downtown Chicago, and also the foundation have a board members, and also I'm a licensed broker to serve life insurance. I provide life insurance to teachers, police officers, and firefighters, and all the unions. So this is what we do. If you have a family member that needs to be protected, let me know. That's what we do. You can create your own business. But first of all, you have to get your college degree in. And hey, this is me. This is what my emotion, I converted the emotion to something beautiful. Instead of going to the street and be a gangster, I'm killing people with my emotion. I decided to do that, kill the way. And become a professional bodybuilder, travel globally to compete, winning. Be recognized, have a huge follower. So become an IFBB pro, you know, competing on the same link with the former California, California governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come on, you have to figure it out on your own. That's me taking my emotions. to win. Win a trophy. Be a pro. Go above and beyond. Be a superstar if you want. Come on, why not? Why call yourself short? Love yourself. Love others. Inspire. Be a good citizen. Give hope to others. It's not about you. It's about others. What you choose to do with the things that never works for you is the reason why I'm here today. Good morning. How you feeling? Show some love. Show some love. Show some love. Be yourself. Grow Afro. Who cares? But put your pants up. Be black, be white, be mixed, be Hispanic. Who cares? The story they're telling about you, if it's not true, why are you reacting to it? Truly, the things that you're supposed to have will be taken away from you at some point. What would you do to recreate those things? If you let your attitude stand your way, you can't recreate it. You lose it. You have to learn to be focused. Truly. you 16, 17. At 16, 17, I was fighting to figure it out. I was looking for acceptance. The story is real. It's true. It happened. I'm telling you right now to inspire. Not for anyone to feel sorry for me. Because you know how many underprivileged children are there globally? Four billion. Over four billion. No dad. No mom. Abandonment issue, which I suffer. No love, which I still suffer. Now I don't even know how to accept love because I never knew what it was. Nobody showed me. It's hard. But don't make it define you. Don't make it define you. You chose what you want to be. And find those that can help you, guide you. Any question? Who wants to be a winner? Come on, man. Who wants to be a winner? <coughs> on your feet. Get up. Let's do it. Come on. Shake it up. You will be challenged. Take a seat. It's all good. Superstar, go volunteer, go give back to the community. Make that elderly man feel good. Make that elderly woman feel good. So, yes. Eight, nine, three, ten. Okay. See that? Highly motivated George and Rice from Indiana. 
she goes to Chesapeake High School. She was 12 when she collaborated with me and we raised $35,000. Georgia Wright, she's 12. Getting on the phone, collaborating, you know, raising the fundraiser event, organizing other children of her age, they raised money. $35,000 would pack 75,000 meals and go feed the children in the village of Africa, Nigeria. We went on a mission trip to the foundation. Who wants to be Georgia Rice? Good. I want to be. I wanted to be. I couldn't be. But when I had the opportunity to be, guess what I did? I became who I am. You can do the same thing. Trust me. It's not over yet. We bought at the governor's office signing a contract to stop child abuse, child labor in Africa, in Nigeria. That was the governor's house. I said, I'm here. I'm 12 years old. A superstar. Mm -hmm. You can do the same, even better. And you start from your own local community. Start from home, help your mom, help your dad, picking up stuff at home. The things you don't need to naturally be told what to do to be able to know. Wake up in the morning, make your bed, help mom to sweep my mom, go to the grocery shop, and just be respectful. And that's what matters, man. They are powerful people. 18 and 17, Jack and Jake. Cal and Jack and me. They are soldiers from Culver High School in, in Indiana. Who knows Culver High School? Very expensive high school, quality. They mobilized. They followed me on the mission trip. Doing it. Summer break. Who wants to go on a mission trip on the summer break? Who will do that here? There you go. Average student want to like go hang in the beach, you know, hang out, look good, show your six packs or whatever. Yeah, sure enough. But that's what he did. They took themselves, they raised money, and flew with us to Africa to feed other privileged children. There were 193 of them. The whole village is about the size of the village in, in about 32,000 people. We fed them, gave them food, we installed playground so that they can physically exercise and release the stress that they face because I was one of them in that village. Barefooted, runny nose, no food to eat, no nutrition. Big head, because my nutrition makes me so deformed. I didn't just wake up overnight and I just be like this. At some point, you have to clean up because you have the will, the power to do so. And when you clean up, you'll be identified by people that never identified by you before. So, wow! Yes. You want to do that. You don't want to give in to poverty. You don't want to give in to adversity. You want to get pumped and walk yourself out of it. But while doing that, you probably might not have the tools that you need, but make use of what you have. That's what you have at that moment. Use it. Sometimes we're short. Okay, don't trip. All right, so that's where we are. And again, tripping money. Okay, so that's where we are. So, I have value to the community. And uh, are you self motivated? Ask yourself that question. Um, hey, what? One thing that you're changing by yourself right now. One question. Make it quick, so I can do a question. Yes. My attitude. Good. That's that's very important. And then, what would you use to replace that? Good. Okay. So, I've been part two ways you can avoid negativity. Good. Okay. So this is what we are. Thank you so much for having us today. The website, my email is Aborn His Dream. The website, okay, email is something at abornhisdream.org. Website, abornhisdream.org. Sunbiggiefitness.org. You know, follow my IG. Sunbiggiefitness.org. Take a snapshot if you remember. Follow me. Follow the inspiration. 
follow the boy on his dream on IG. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. 